A trip down the old PD Road, which is now Bethesda Road, to the Malcolm Blue Farm is a trip back in time to the days the Sand Hills area was known as, quote, the Pine Barrens. It consisted of sandy hills covered with giant virgin pines, barren of undergrowth, and of settlers struggling to carve a home in the wilderness. The Malcolm Blue Farmhouse is over 170 years old and is one of the few remaining examples of 19th century Scottish homes in the Sand Hills area. The 1825 farmhouse, along with the grist mill, stable, corn crib, tobacco pack house, equipment barn, water tower, and windmill complete the farmstead. Malcolm Blue was married in 1833 to Isabella Patterson, whose grandfather in 1768 received a King's Grant for the land where the old Bethesda Presbyterian Church is now. Isabella died within a year with no children, and 11 years later, he married, Malcolm did, Flora Ray of Ray's Mill family who lived one mile from Malcolm's farm. They raised seven children on the farmstead. Malcolm Blue became very prosperous in the naval stores industry, which is an industry that made pine tar to seal boats, thereby being called naval stores. He owned more than 8,000 acres, including the present-day Pinehurst Racetrack. He tapped the pine trees for rosin, which was refined into tar, pitch, and turpentine. 200 acres were cleared for farming of wheat, rye, corn, peas, beans, and sweet potatoes. Besides being a wealthy landowner, Malcolm Blue was active in the community and served as an elder in the Bethesda Presbyterian Church for over 40 years and clerk of the session, the ruling body of that church, for 16 years, donating the land where the current, quote, old church stands the area surrounded Old Bethesda Church and the Malcolm Blue House became known as Blue's Crossing. On March 9, 1865, elements of the 1st Brigade of General Sherman's Army, commanded by General Thomas J. Jordan, commandeered the farmhouse and the Bethesda Presbyterian Church for a bivouac and staging area. Fortunately, both installments were spared the destruction which befell many homes on Sherman's march to Fayetteville. Malcolm died in 1872 and his property was willed to his children. Neil, the youngest son, received the farmhouse and 100 acres. Flora lived with him until her death in 1875. The railroad arrived in 1878 and Malcolm's son, Malcolm James became the first postmaster of Blue's Crossing. He built the first house in what is now downtown Aberdeen, the new name of Blue Crossing. The lumbering business had begun, and in 20 years, the demise of all the virgin longleaf pine forest was virtually complete. The 10-acre farm is the site of one of the largest and most popular traditional festivals in the region. The Malcolm Blue Historical Crafts and Farm Skills Festival is held annually on the last weekend of September, and there's also a Christmas open house on the second Sunday of December. Over 2,000 school children visit the farm during School Children's Day each year to listen to storytelling, and to see puppet shows and craft demonstrations of the good old days. Some of the crafts and skills are pottery, bullet and basket making, metal and woodworking, carving, spinning and weaving, candle and soap making. Farm animals fill the stable and the petting farm. Pony and wagon rides are available to the young and the young at heart. Folk and country musicians and dancers entertain throughout the three-day event. In the meta, Civil War reenactment troops are in camp 
and hit and miss and steam engines are demonstrated. The festival has become one of the best intergenerational events in North Carolina. In 1986, a barn-style structure was built for a museum. Exhibits have been constructed with the assistance of the Museum of the Cape Fear to include Scotland, Cape Fear Scottish settlers, the Blue family, naval stores, lumbering, the Pioneer Woman, the Country Store, Tool Room, Agriculture, Pottery and Farm Machinery. A Civil War exhibit displays the story of the Battle of Monroe's Crossroad. The Malcolm Blue Farm is a community heritage project certified by the Regional History Sites Program of the North Carolina Department of Cultural Resources. The farm and museum have been designated by the North Carolina Civil War Tourism Council as part of the North Carolina Civil War theme trails. The purpose of the Malcolm Blue Historical Society is to interpret 19th century life in Moore County through the collection, preservation, and utilization of artifacts significant to the natural and rural history of Moore County through folklore programs that demonstrate the culture of the area and through agricultural demonstrations that show the methods, crops, and farm activities typical of the early Pine Barren Life. The farm and museum are owned and operated by the Malcolm Blue Historical Society. Contributions and group reservations are accepted at Post Office Box 603, Aberdeen, North Carolina, 28315. The telephone number is area 910-944-7558.